What the fuck is up, Denny's? Oh, yes. It's fucking party time. Hello. Is there anybody out there? Say your name if you can hear me so that I can sing the fucking song. <laughs> What's going on? in the chat I just realized I can't see it who's here Rob Blanchard's here so is Alcoustic New Cuta as well someone named Tim is here from hell I don't know. Young Verticus and E. Urban as well King Jade X, Isomatic, and Roy T29219. Where's everyone else? Let's fucking get them here. The party started right here now. Gigantus Guitar Spot is Andrew Jackson. That's his new handle. I hope he gets some action. That's how what he deserves. Topher Taylor has become. Fuck, I forgot the chords. <laughs> Comfortably dumb. And then, and then stop. And then make the music stop. Anyway, just a little something I've been working on. Okay, first of all, when did it go live? Two, two minutes ago. Like one minute before two. I got a little trigger happy, okay? Um, so now you've heard what I've been working on this week. <laughs> um, I mean, not like super specifically just that song um but this so the one of the many beautiful things about a midi guitar is that if you're using MPE you can split the strings to different instruments. So just the E string will do this cool bass thing. And then these two strings. Actually, all of them have a harp. But then, let's see. Then we've got a choir, a weird-ass choir on this one. And what's this one? Oh, I guess it's just the choir on these three, but like, it, look at this, like all of these things are happening when I, when I hit the chord, like all of that. Arpeggiators, galore. My face is really red. This is my new camera. I have two angles now, which I didn't actually set up. So this one just looks like it's like up my nose. Look, there's a lot. There's a little bit of. Uh, I mean, I also look really red in that. I just took a shower, so, and I'm Irish. Anyway, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. It is time for the ceremonial. Cracking of a cold one. ASMR. Oh, not if I can't get. A Let me see your eyes, anyways. All right. Give me the Wizard of Oz. Um, all right. What's up, everybody? Hello. 
How are we feeling about 2 p.m.? Good or bad? Dumb? Does Rabia have an arpeggiator like that? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I still actually have not tried that, I don't think. Um, I don't think I've tried his plugin at all. Is that right? That may be true. I'm honestly not sure. Um, oops. Um, sorry, I know, I know that I'm changing up the times and stuff, but like, Sunday didn't really work out. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, um, I have a tendency to be like, I'm going to try this thing and then not want to change anything. You know? And keep on going down. A real dumb road. So it's better to try a thing, have it not really work, and then um, change back. Um, anywho. Um, Um, I guess I figured that people would have more time on the weekends, right? Um, and therefore be better, like, because, be yeah, people wouldn't be busy. Um, but I guess that's just not the case. Uh, I did not consider this whole thing about people won't want to stay up late on Sundays because they have work on Mondays. And I didn't think of that because I don't have a real ass job. This this uh, absurd silliness is my job, and I'm my own boss, and I don't have to <laughs> wake up for shit. Um, yeah, and and a lot of people for a lot of people it already is Monday, as Tim has pointed out. Yeah, exactly. So, anyway, um, it's fine. Um, Urban, I don't actually. I didn't bounce like even a rough version of it because i'm dumb um so actually zymie has everything now um but anyway yeah it this um it is a super fun toy um but also like it's going to be one of my primary weapons for this performance stream that i've been plotting um uh riff raff here's the um all the information that you will need that you will require hi george DeMello. is it the riff raff my main goal is to blow up and act like i don't know nobody um yeah, because I, you know, only like barely play a keyboard. And of course I can combine it. Arpeggiators are a great time. Anyway, um, I'm very excited about that. Yes, new new camera, new camera angle. Um, Topher's got to go um, protect the mall, the wa in the, the water in the mall, the water mall. Um. 
and he'll be back soon. Zimbo has no time to watch, but is wishing us good success. Thank you. That's uh, much appreciated. Good vibes. So here's another cool thing that I can do. Okay, check this out. Right, like. Now we're underwater? What? Some va background music vibes. Your neighbor next door is listening to beats. I have this on an expression pedal. You can't tell me that's not cool as shit. You can't tell me that. You can tell me a lot of things, but not that. Anyway. There are many, many things that I still don't know how to do. The, namely, on the push, I don't know how to make it stop. <laughs> um, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Jonas is here. Hello. How much did I get it for? That's a bad question to ask me. I can tell you how much it costs. I think they're $7.99 for the stumpy one like this, the headless one. But now they have ones that look like real guitars. Um, Band Labs. I mean, I think you can send it on Band Labs. Band, wait, Band Lab? No, Band Lab is the one that doesn't have a volume control, right? Um, number two, you don't have Discord. I mean, you could have it in like a minute. <laughs> Just download it. It's it's free. Um, and don't upload your, your shit to Spotify yet if it's not. I mean, send it to me first. Just up, Just upload it to SoundCloud. Also free. Or a Dropbox. So many. Uh, uh, the push, this is the push three. There's a standalone option, which I do not have um, because it is twice the price. And also I don't really, at this moment to have a use for it, I'm not going to be taking it with me anywhere. It's always going to be connected to, to the lappy toppy. Lappy toppy, lappy toppy. Um, and also, like, I'm still kind of glued to the um to the laptop. I already said that, didn't I? Um, to the lappy toppy. <laughs> Peter Heave Onan, welcome. Um, Jonas is asking how to get comfortable on stage performing. Um. Uh, it's just going to be getting reps. That's all there is. Yeah, I saw a little bit of the video, Jonas. You were, you were, looked like you were having a pretty good time. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just doing it a lot. There are a lot of people who feel nervous every single time. Um, and then two seconds in, you know, there are a lot of people who, um, straight up um like like big artists who like puke before every show <laughs> and then they just like all right we did it let's go um your voice wasn't sore at all after you were done that's that's amazing um so it's like um yeah, I, I I don't really feel like I'm super good at it. I actually had to, with literally no preparation of any kind, had to play on stage in front of people last night. I went to see Jen Majura play at Sam Ash um near here. And of course she pulled me on stage to jam. And I just have not really been playing guitar. I've mostly just been doing this. Hello. 
Hello, a weapon against evil. What are you? What is this? Peach Panther Husky? Are you just naming animals? Bradley Ray on base says, "Wish me luck. I'm going on YouTube live. YouTube live at six. Good luck." Um, I'm, I'll probably be busy <laughs> doing also this. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's literally just reps. I mean, I've been doing this once a week. Obviously this isn't like a performance really, but I've been doing this to get good and comfortable at it. I've been doing it for like three years now every week. Um, and I do it for a long time every time. So that adds up to a lot of hours. And this isn't performing music per se, but you just, you know, um, like just getting comfortable speaking. Like public speaking is the number one fear of human beings on earth. Um, more above death, literally above death. People are less scared of death than public speaking. And public speaking, this is kind of that, more or less. Um, it's literally just a matter of, of doing the reps. Bradley Ray on bass is glad he found my, found my channel. I'm also glad that you did. Ray is here, Super Monster Party. What up? Man, I hate that the restream chat won't let me scroll up. So, like... And then if somebody checks the rules, like all of the chat went away. What is propanolol? Is that a, uh, is that a thing that's, that's like, is that an illicit substance or is it one that you can get from your doctor? Um, but it's a, you know, no matter what it's, uh, it's worth it. You know, it's worth the, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> that was so loud <laughs> in my system. Whoo, 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 whoo. More de Cayman. Oh, it's more de Cayman. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is more de Cayman? Drop in a freebie. Another one. And one for himself. I just have my, um, I have my speakers up pretty loud. This is probably going to be really loud for me. And I okay. <laughs> that was, that probably looked funny. Okay. Utilizing my triple screen approach here. Hopefully you can see that. You can. Okay, wonderful. Um, meh. Thank you, Mordecai, for dropping a freebie for the masses. There is one freebie available, folks. Follow the freebie rules, and maybe that could be yours. Um, assuming none of you won the, uh, what was it, the Powerball or the Mega Millions this week? Um... It's a beta blocker. Oh, right. Vitamin P. No, vitamin I, they call it. What's the, 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 what's the other one? There's another beta blocker. I think they call it vitamin I, and, like, yeah, performers will take it. I prefer to block my betas the old-fashioned way. There's no old-fashioned way. Uh, yes. If any of you did win the Powerball... 
you could make a, a tax deductible donation to the Gear Gods Foundation for uh, keeping Trey living indoors. Um, all right, here we got we got Mordecai, who says he's sorry. <laughs> um, never never apologize. I'm just kidding. You could started last night thinking there might be something there. Hello, Joels. 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 That's a tricksy rip. on a single idea. Gadget, 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 gadget. Yeah. It's, um, it's relentless. Um, I think that pattern feels a little patterny, if that makes sense. That's kind of my only, the only thing that like, it me immediately strikes me as not pretty cool, I guess. Um... But you've got some. You've taken this idea very a lot of interesting places, which I like. Um, like it all feels like it's holding together. Like you've got they're all more or less variations of the same idea, the same motif, which is like it makes me happy. <laughs> you know. Excuse me. Oh. YouTube uh, suggested that I watch me. Oops. Um, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Let's not. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, so this is obviously as <laughs> Mordecai voted gong on his own one. That's funny. Self gong. Well, if that's how you want it. All right. How are we feeling about them freebies? Who wants a freebie? Who wants it? Do you own it? Um, you want it? You got it. You want it, baby. You got it. 
Um, so what I would do So the wrong, not wrong, the what I would consider a dumb and stupid way to write a song is to come up with something and then be like, all right, the next thing I have to do is to do something that is totally um, d different. Uh, like I have to come up with a new thing. The, what I, the way that I think people should do it is sit down and try to go deep into the idea that they've already got. Figure out why you like it, and then create some more variations on it. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but like there's a, uh, they found like Beethoven's notebook when he was writing the Ninth Symphony. Like, Seems like really low hanging fruit, but the, he had like 20 fucking variations of this idea that he went through before it became that. Um, so, like, just consider that once you think you've got the thing. Um, try and, if you've got something good. Fuck yeah. Try and, uh, like, come up with the next version of it and keep going. You have no idea how many times I have started something, thought that it was cool, um, gone through and written a bunch of stuff, created a couple new versions of it, and then I go back and look at, th at the first version, and I'm like, wow, that was bad. I'm glad that I changed it. Um now, that's not the necessarily the ultimate goal to replace the thing that you initially had. If the initial idea is good or s maybe even sick um, or great, creating variations of it is a way to keep the sickness of that idea and take it through the rest of the song without it being fucking boring, without just like... Around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world, around the world. Anyway, you get the idea. Cretin! Um. That looks like it could be a stop button. More important than, um, than the gas pedal on a car by a lot the most important part of any car is the brakes and i don't have the brakes for this yet in my brain someone named bucket thank you for following oh and it's wait how did we get did i miss something how did we oh fuck young verticus young verticus what Holy hell! How did... Was that the... What? Huh? What? Who? Why did that not make a noise? Was that the same noise? I don't know! I don't understand! Thank you so much! Hold up. And we also have, have had a freebie claimed and... Cretin! Okay, so the fart noise that I heard was for Cretin. Cretin. I'm gonna say Cretin because of Monsters, Inc. And I'm sorry just because I think it's funny. Um, but I think maybe we have not heard his... F anyway, I don't know why I'm worried about that. Thank you so much. Are you not entertained? We now have five freebies, courtesy of Young Murticus, who says, thanks for all the content and music one. creation, music education. There's the Cretan fart. There it is. Um, happy to support. Please throw it all to the free freebie pile. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. The way that I'm saying it is right. Cretin.
I always say Cretan if I'm not goofing. Um, uh, so thank you as well, Cretan. You have been added to the list, and by that I mean you're up right now. Great. Hell yes. Oh, and it's time for a new hat. Uh, young Verticus gets to choose the hat today. What's it? What's it gonna be? Pick a hat. Any hat. Pick a hat. Pick a hat. Pick a hat. Any hat. Pick a hat. Any hat. Pick a pick a pick a hat. Pick a hat. Any hat. Pick a hat. Pick a hat. Pick a hat. Any hat. Pick a pick a hat. Pick a pick a hat. Any hat. Pick a hat. Pick a pick a pick a hat. Any hat. Okay. I now officially ban myself from doing that until I figure out where the stop button is on because I have to keep opening this stupid like uh, actually opening live. Okay. Um let's let's see what Mr. Cretan has said about this. Cretan Recorded another demo for the Friday show. Oh, just for us. Custom made. The Spark. Little rushy, little rushy. Ultra gritty and like had the had the intensity and the forward momentum, uh, you know. Um, uh, how you say? Rough around the edges, lyrically a little cartoony. Um, yeah, nursery rhymey, as a uh, dungeon boy just pointed out. Yeah, it's um. Performance wise, aside from the uh the kind of roughness of the recording, a little bit not quite on the biet. Um just a little rough rhythmically. Um, but 
I was picking up what you're putting down, if that makes sense, right? Like, I'm feeling the feeling that you're feeling and that you want me to feel. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Um, yeah, grimy. That's a good. Um, that's a good way to look at it. I like that. So there's like, there's a kind of dirty metal that I like, and it's production style. Uh, Kevin Antrezian does this like, like a very, like, I call it raw polish, like. It sounds awesome without sounding like fake. Like it's hi-fi, but also like retains that like dirtiness. Um, uh, uh, maybe kind of like converge. Uh, someone named Bucket. Uh, you are on Twitch, so you have to type beep boop. Um, but yeah, like that had this had a similar kind of a feel to it to a lot of that like hm2 core you know kind of a thing um yeah um but it's it just like it just needs a little a little bit of a better mix so that we can hear what you're hearing there's young verticus hello did you want did you have a particular hat that you wanted me to wear? Um, so you want to be able to do this, retain the intensity without... Um, but like being able to get the idea across a bit better. The mix is, is kind of what's doing that right now. The guitars are too fucking loud. And also the vocals. I remember the days of old, full of violence and rage, the danger and excitement, standing up for your own. No one left behind. What do you think with these fucks? So, um, yeah, you need to. Uh, I mean, the lyrics are a little like, oh, come on, like you can, like. You can keep everything that's awesome about that without um, without stupid lyrics, <laughs> you know? So, man, I feel like maybe I need to figure out this lighting situation a little bit better. Anyway, it's fine. Um, but I, I, like... I was instantly taken by that, you know, like as soon as the vocals kicked in, I was like, here we fucking go. And you'll always get me with a two step. That just makes my blood. I don't know. Curdle in a good way. What's the word? It just it grabs. It grabs my blood by the short hairs and gets me moving. I'm not really sure. Damn, you had to drop a thousand dollars on your radiator, Mordecai. That fucking sucks. Um. You don't have to apologize for not giving me money. If that was true, well, there's a lot of people on earth who have to apologize for me. If every person on earth just gave me one dollar, they wouldn't have to apologize at all. In fact, no one would ever have to apologize to me ever again because you'd never see me again. Seven billion dollars. And then some. Anyway, um, <laughs> there are five freebies available, folks, if you want to if you want to do this, but not, you know, um, pay for it. Um, so let's see. What the fuck was I going to say? Oh yeah. So 
I think that had the sauce. Now you gotta, you, now you gotta like make it sound better. I would also say that like a couple like secondary guitar parts would help you to sort of differentiate the sections of the song a little bit more. Um, and I think it, you know, just to get it a little bit, um, just to give it like a little bit more personality. And it doesn't have to be much. You don't need a solo. You don't have to shred. Just like some other thing that could really um, elevate it a little bit. Because it's right now it has all the energy that you want. Um, yeah, primal. That's a good way to describe it. Um, your buddy wrote the lyrics about an old punk friend that eventually turned into a full-blown neo-Nazi. I think his intention was kind of to keep it cheeky, but I understand what you're saying. <sighs> Didn't, isn't like, yeah, that kind of shit can happen. I think that some of it is, might be because of the sort of attitude that, the like, the attitude of punk is very, uh is, is really shitty in a lot of ways because it's, kind of just like anti and the problem with just being anti is that you don't like you're just going to be anti whatever's presented to you even if it's like a good thing so like if you feel as though it's it's kind of like a um oh what's the fucking word um Perceived demand avoidance is like a, it's like a gentle version of, uh, there's a, a personality disorder where you just do the opposite of whatever anybody tells you, uh, and I'm blanking on the name of it. Anyway, perceived demand avoidance is uh, a more common version, and you just go like, you can't tell me what to do, fuck you, even if it's like, hey, you should, you should, um not hate people based on uh, stupid shit like that. And they're like, no, the establishment is pro human being, being <laughs> whatever. And then like, so, and you get old and your brain doesn't work so good and then you become a Nazi. <laughs> so that's a bummer. Um, oppositional defiant disorder. Thank you guys. Yeah. Um, and it's just, the problem is that it's just irrational, like full on irrational. And like, I have a, I have like kind of a tendency to, um, to feel that way, to feel like, no, fuck you. I'm not going to do what you, fuck you. I won't do what you told me. Um, even when it's like, Hey, eat some, you should eat some vegetables <laughs> or whatever. Like somebody like making saying it nicely and like not and I'm just like no no my brain does that and then I have to like stop and then like okay think about it a little bit anyway great story Trey um all right here is insidious just a general impression, and I don't have a description other than it's the first metal song I wrote for my band Doomsday Manifesto after checking out Trey's free songwriting course. Oh, cool. So you took the riff to song challenge. Am I crazy or is one of the guitars in here like infinitely louder than the others? Cool 
evil rips in here. The waveform that you're seeing here isn't the real one. Like, that's not actually what it looks like. That's a moray problem. I should turn this up a little bit. Okay. Insidious. Insidious, queen. <laughs> Very proud of myself for that, obviously. I need, like... I don't need anything. Um, so, let's see. What does this need? So, first of all, it feels very cohesive. Um, it feels like a complete thought. Um, which was, like, kind of the intention behind the uh, Riff to Song Challenge, number one, because, well, I mean, not kind of anything. It was 100% the intention, because that was my weapon against Riff Salad. Trying to get the world to uh, stop Riff Salading as a, like, at a, at a, as the default, you know? Valeria, what up? Hello. I saw Jen last night, and she said that you said hi. So now I am, and I told her to tell you that I said hi, but now I can deliver that message to you directly when I say hi. Um, so this, you said this is the first metal song you wrote since then. Great. Um, so that's like a so that's a structure thing. Structure wise, it feels very together. The mix is a bit shot, shotzilla. Um, oh, we got one freebie claimed. Four remain. No, sh sh not yet, not yet, bro, not fucking yet um 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 yeah so now you have to like make the individual parts feel a little bit more um like they've got a good direction to them right now they move a bit um the like i don't know what is going on in this mix like, like that guitar sounds mean as shit. 
the one that's like in the middle and really loud for some reason, and then the ones that are hard panned feel like they got scooped to death. Like, and I don't know why, but and the vocals are really loud. That to me just feels like like I can only think of that to be red when I hear that. Dun, dun. What is it? What is that? It's every tool song is really is what it is. I know the pieces fit, da -na. I know pieces, the fit, they fit, the pieces fit, the pieces fit, uh, the. Um, so what's going to make that this move a little bit? <laughs> I think it just needs, um, needs a lot of tightening up. Um, I want, I, I think there was one point where you say insidious double time that what you do at the end here, insidious, and so you were like, insidious. I think that's a little bit better. The, f maybe the first time you say it fast and then the, s at the end you hit it because like that could be a really good hook right now. Um, I feel like you are underwhelmingly um I, I think it's underwhelming because of how you're um treating it like I don't think maybe you don't uh really know that you've got a pretty good hook on your hands um oh I know schism <laughs> Apparently, that's the only song that anyone knew that has odd time signatures in it because I fucking, like, nobody guessed any of the other songs. I thought I, I thought I put iconic fucking odd time stuff in that rap song, and nobody guessed any of them except for Schism. And I was like, what? Um, so I heard it too many times, really. Uh, so something just happened. What was it? I got to find... Okay. I have this gigantic screen in front of me, and I'm still like, no. Everything has to be really big. Um, okay, I'm going to do this. All right, Veggie Jackson. Thank you for your donation. You've been added to the list. Great. This was just you attempting to do demo vocals for your new vocalist who hasn't recorded anything for you yet. Oh, well, I mean, that, 
Why isn't that working? Um. Well, keep going, I guess. Keep on keeping on, mate. All right. This uh, the color of these lights above my head are ruining my life right now, and I don't know why. It's very much bothering me. I wanted to have a nice contrast between the blue and the like the nice warm, and um, it's not really working for me, mate. Not really. Okay. But I, I think you've got something pretty cool, and I think you should keep hammering away at it. And I think you've got a um enough of a hook to like at least have something to start with. Like go for it. Like fucking push that hook more. Like it's hard for death metal to be memorable. It's fucking hard. Um because it's based on intensity, which usually means a lot of things going on and a lot of notes and phrasing tends to go out the window. But the way that you can keep that from happening is by finding these little rhythmic hooks. Black Dahlia Murder uh, did that really good. So it's worth it. Um, okay, so... Here's Veggie Jackson added. No, I'm not gonna. You're not. You're. You'll be next. Uh huh. And then, so this is my own words. Adrenaline. My own words. Shove it. Tone pursuit. Great question. YouTube does in fact take a cut, a thirty percent cut of super chats. Fexus TV. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh, where was I going with that? Okay, my own words. Nothing's gonna break my soul. You're never gonna pull me under. Fear is gonna start to rise. I'm never gonna be I'm the hearing, one I'm to surrender. But rock. Right. Bit of um, I can feel 
Like, it could have been... I think that the performance and production of this song are undercutting the c composition. Um, right now, hold on, I just want to try something. Did it autofocus? Hopefully on my face. Um, because I think this is like, this is a fun, hooky rock song. A little, you know, on the nose, pretty octane core style. Um, but it's cool. Like, it's, um, yeah, generic is, is definitely the word. Um, it's, a, it's a bit generic. The thing about generic is um, in order to make something that is good and unique, you can take something that is pretty straightforward and generic and just give it a cool little twist um like lots of bands have had a lot of success doing like almost the same fucking thing as a lot of other artists but just like putting a little bit of special stank on it just a little something to make um you know because this is very familiar, straightforward, catchy, um, inoffensive in every way. So then, um, but but memorable, nice. So what little twist are you gonna give it to make us want to hear more? Um, there's there's a couple things that will do that, like getting the performances to be somehow remarkable. Right now, the vocal is nice but unremarkable. So that's a performance thing, right? That's a... Uh, it, it felt a little sleepy. And then the, like, screamy vocals come in to back it up. All of a sudden, there's the power. Where the fuck has that been? Not that you should have that be the vocal style all the time. I want to hear the singing vocal with a little bit more grit, a bit more power, um, and, it, like, just more personality, you know? That's the main thing. Um, so, like, think about this. I have been up here on a fucking crusade against Riff Salad, okay? I think it is shitty songwriting i think it's demonstrably uh not popular like i think that bands who do it for the most part are not popular like they're just not you know i think it's for a really good reason not something you hear a lot on the radio on you know from popular bands but what if you were to take some like fucking god tier r&b vocals and put it on top of some genty riff salad and then sleep token is born that's their little twist is that they have music or they have a singer who is like way fucking better than most singers in metal and super different um really really super gorgeous singer and then seven nine minutes of riff salad um so this to me needs sauce of some kind you've got the compositional aspect down the only way that you're going to break through to people is by giving it some something that is different from breaking Benjamin light. You know what I mean? 
Um, like I want to hear, I want to hear more of the, like more, more of that and get the production up. Like you can't make this kind of music and have the production be whatever, because that like, this is music for, you know, military wives. Like they want, they want that nice punchy sound they want that you know they want to be like oh my god this is so good my husband's in the navy <laughs> i don't know why military wives love butt rock i don't know but i don't make the rules okay so um i think that's pretty cool um Uh, Riff Raff, your, your link looks good. So if you send the donation, we'll get you on here, uh, I think, next. And there are four. <laughs> there are four freebies available. Feller. So anybody wants a freebie, now's the time. If it follows the rules, it might be good. <laughs> ah, yes. Military wives. Notorious production snobs. That's the thing. They don't know that they are. But, you know. Okay, here we go. Bloodthirst. Trey Vare. What a name. Here we go. Man, you got put in truth tuning, man. Sometimes I hold my head down in my hands Trying to find mm, Solitude at hand I know why So this is a When you look at me Collaboration in a song I wrote in the see What I believe Sixty-nine in the chat. You know what that means. Let me see him. What's going on in this video? Benjamin NZ, watching from New Zealand. What the fuck is going on in this video? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's an RC boat. I was like, damn. Like, why send a... What the fuck is this video? I like, I don't want to watch the video anymore. Because it's so distracting. That is a very farty synth thing. What is that bass noise? That could be a super sick chorus. Right now it's like... Um, I actually think that the sort of like Christina Aguilera like finger wagging um, ad libs at the end. No, no, no. Uh, it was like really taking away from the impact of your chorus. With your blood thirst, like thirst, whatever, like you landed it on the root. Um, that could have been pretty impactful. And then it was like, only a hundred points. If I can say 
the name of where you're from? Wanganui. I love uh, New Zealand accents. You can deposit those 100 points directly into my account. Fonganui. Oh, come on. I was close. Um, okay, so th so that's like a structure thing. Th the performance on this and production is like rough. Um, everything feels like really janky. And it's kind of like, like everything feels like it's falling sideways a little bit. Like tighten that shit up. And like Pull my head down in my hands trying to find mm, solitude at hand I know but, why when you look at me like you the, fail to see what I believe yeah it's a lot of these like kind of yeahs and stuff that like are so out of place for me yeah yeah, what I believe you couldn't see inside of me. I took a pee onto a tree. Um, yeah, this is like somebody said butt trap. <laughs> That's a. It never really feels like it takes off. Oops. Yo, riff raff. Dropping a 35 banger to jump the line. Thank you. You will be next. Um, like that sound is pretty fucking cool. That kind of like. I called it a farty bass sound, but I was just being silly. It's more like a party bass sound. Know what I mean? No, it's cool. Like, it's, um... It's the only thing that makes this, to me, that makes this track kind of pop off, like, feel like something new is happening. Um... RN Palm Tree has followed. Welcome! Is that what it is? Is it is it throat singing? Tuvin throat singing? I thought it was something like that. Um, Tuvin throat something. So, uh, this feels really loose and janky and feels like it needs... Um, if you're gonna have something that is this slow, you gotta, like, you gotta do something to keep it moving. Right now, if it's like, it's really sleepy and not in a good way, okay? I don't think that this is the same riffraff. All right, good enough. I I'm feeling like perhaps this is a different riff raff. Ryan riffs. Um, so the lyrics to that were kind of whatever. Um, I think you should keep that bloodthirst. You know, line and things kind of like going into it, and you could have something here um, if you can perform it better. The guitar solo sounded like a just a wank fest, just a nothingness wank time. Um, so yeah, but but I think if you if you like make a give it a way of like feeling like it's moving forward. Part of it is like the fucking 
just the strumming of it was so out of time and janky that like it made me go like ah come on I mean this doesn't look like riff raff I don't think it's the same riff raff not enough uh you know face tattoos I guess okay so um cool <coughs> So like like the chorus, that final line of the chorus, I will remember that. Yeah, like you could, if you like really build into that and make it fucking pop off, you could have it. Like you could have something more than nothing. What if I do this? That is much more comfortable for my face. Okay. Cool, here we go. Ryan Riffs. Oh, uh, somebody um, 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 claimed a freebie. Um, you will also be in the list. Am I missing any from the list? Not yet. Okay, cool. Ryan Riffs, save me. Save me from riffs. Oh, I became my worst enemy. And I don't know what's got its teeth in me. Caught up in that dark energy. And you're the only one that can save me. Oh, oh, save me. are like halfway to good. How does Riff Raff have fans? By using the age old technique of blowing up and acting like you don't know nobody. That's how you do it. It's Expect up this could work but right now it feels like it feels a bit like a hat on a hat is followed. Welcome on Twitch. That's a cool, like, the kick drum's got a little bit of grit on the top. It's kind of nice. That pulling the rug on that drop in the first beat. Yeah, the guitar tone is shit. It's really super dark. And like rolled off and it's not really working. And the drums, 
this sound un... I don't know, unmixed. But, this has a lot going for it. A lot of good stuff in here. Cell phone. Oh, you did say that. And I did not read it because I never learned how. Okay? Literacy is not a joke. I don't know why it's so funny. not a joke, but that's just the, the way thing. Okay, so you made this on your cell phone. He, so what he wrote that I, like I said, I didn't re read, because um, I have a lot going on. Okay, while the stream is running, don't judge me. Um, he said, thanks for all you do. This was done on a cell phone, and I'm by no means an engineer. Okay. There you go. Um, so that's uh, that's fine. So the um, your next task, your final task, is gonna be to uh, now take this and go to the go to a, a, a computer <laughs> and record this in a real DAW and get a little bit of real production. Um, now, structure wise, um, and and composition wise. The things that are holding this song back um, is that aside from this big drop into the heavy stuff, there is not a lot of dynamic content. Like the vocals are, are like mostly in about the same register and dynamic level, I think. So that's not the only thing that's going to make us feel like the song is moving forward. Um, you do have like some cool dynamic things in here. Um, uh, cool use of like different types of drum sounds and everything. Oh, mercy. Oh, did you hear that? I cracked so much. Cracking under pressure. But like... I never felt like we really hit a chorus, like a big old, like, yeah, this is it. Um, it kind of felt like one big, long, continuous part also, which I didn't really like. I want more um, hmm. I want a certain kind of drop for this. like I want a big I want a big moment. It felt like there was not really a big moment anywhere in this, aside from your drop moment, which to me felt a little botched. Like, I wanted you to hit the fucking, hit the one. I don't know, like, maybe maybe that's too, like, you should do it the way the people do it. Cause, but I always say drop the drop where the drop goes. Because there's a, there's a level of, like, oh, but I did it different. I did it different. It's not on the one that um, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. But it's cool. Like, I think you've you've got I, I, I like your vision. Um, I enjoy your vision. And I think if you. Yeah, take this to a producer if you can. Somebody, not just an engineer. I always have to specify that. Because people are like, well, I found a guy who does good mixes. And nobody ever told them that the, um, you know, that the song itself needs work. What am I doing? You. Um... 
you know, somebody to get it where it needs to go. And then uh, I, I think you could absolutely have a super sick song because this it sounds nice. It sounds good. You have the skills. You have the talent. Um, the vocal thing, like, you have to leave somewhere for yourself to go. Right now you're kind of in this same place. Um, and I think you need to, I think for this, you could even, you could like kind of make the, the vocal bounce a little bit more, like give it a little bit more. A little more staccato, I think, is going to make it really move. Um, but just uh, keep going. My snack have arrived. All right, let me just... Uh, it's coffee o'clock. Um, all right, there are three freebies available, guys. And also, it's time for a new hat. A new hat. I'm going to hit play on this, grab my coffee and my snack and a new hat and be right back. Not even, uh, oh, oh. Add it to the list. This to me sounds like a singer who has a lot of raw talent who has never sung before. Oh, but this is Birds of Squalor. We have listened to you before, and I know that you can sing. So this is just rough. Rough down. That's a really nice. I want to be the sparrow flying. Woo. This is got good. How easy to waste this life worth living. So this is obviously a very rough demo. So I'm going to try to, uh, where I can stop hiding. you know, treat it as such. Okay, your verse is way too fucking long with no build. Like, My conscience could use a break from breaking when all I know has gone cold. That didn't hit. Where is my inner source? Where is my inner Oh shit! Yeah, little, little sepulchre I eat. 
I guess I should say sounds like Max Cal Cavalera. Calavera? Cavalera? Cavalera. I interviewed him once. Really nice. Okay. This has some really good stuff in it and some that is hard for me to see your vision because the performance is shot. Um, so the main way that you're going to be able to fuse these kinds of things together is by not making the transitions between them feel so stark. Um, right now it feels all over the place because you haven't really glued them together in a way. Um, so I'm trying to hear through the shitty uh, demo, which is a skill that I have acquired. Um, uh, do, having done this for three years now, um, I think... <laughs> I think Octohawk. Thank you for your donation of a 35 banger to jump the line. Jump the queue, a queue jumper. Uh, oh, oh, okay, this isn't. What is this app? Box. Well, it's got a volume control, so that that's fine. <laughs> um, where was I going with this? It's four years, Topher. Fuck. Damn. Hello, Kira X, who says, "What's good, homie? Love the streams." Oh, it's all good. Everything is good. Um. So your verse feels really long for two reasons. Number one, because it's kind of long. <laughs> and also because it doesn't feel like it builds into the chorus. I wanna be the budding flower. Um, budding flower. Uh, this, uh, I really like this verse thing. I'm never burning flower. I want to be the budding flower I want to be the sparrow flying How easy to waste this life worth living Waiting for a chance where I can Okay, so it builds a little bit But it still isn't really hitting The vocal melody uh, is gaining in intensity as it goes and getting a little higher, um, which is pulling us along a little bit. But I think something's got to make it move better, though, and, like, kick up the intensity even more. Because by the time we get to the fucking chorus, we still haven't really gone anywhere. Ice cold and never Right now, I'm, by this point, I'm bored. Use a break from breaking when all I know has gone cold. Where is my inner soul? Um, and that could be cool, but like, I don't. By the time we get to that little break, I'm already so. I'm so, uh, irritated that I'm like don't make me wait longer like I want it to I want it to feel like that's where we're actually going and not just like oh, feel like it came out of nowhere where is my 
my inner soul? That's not, I don't think that's what he said. That's probably not. Get back. Can you feel me? I'm not like you anymore. Days are growing so light, hitting every step of lighting street lights. I want it! I want it! I want it back! My inner child! Dead! And Waffle Cone Wombat Drone wants to know where his Hennessy is. What am I, your beverage keeper? Okay, this has a lot of potential. Like, now, I don't know if this is just out of your range singing-wise and you're trying to hit notes that you can't or you just weren't warmed up for this take or whatever, but you have to consider that when you're writing. Like... I have done two things. Number one, I have written songs with no regard for um, actual performance um, and just like recorded them in the studio and then regretted how I wrote it because in the studio I could sing it a hundred times, take a break, record each part, and then having to perform it live then became like a... <sighs> like ruining myself okay um and then i've also because of that learned to th think much more about what um like what's going to be doable to sing but either in the studio or live um so uh if it's the former not the latter like um in the sense that it is just too high for you to sing or to just whatever um then just try try pitching it down like a third like try going like starting a third lower or something and because i feel like if it's this far off in the demo stage you might be it might be uh worth changing earlier on rather than later um, hi, Katie. But I think it's, uh, it's got something. Um, oh, I want to go back to the beginning a little bit. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Your second verse is way better than your first verse. Where did it go? Oh yeah, and that solo is really out of place. Like, keep this, take this second verse and like do the, make the first verse that good. Um, I think this could be great. God Wizard, that is not true. <laughs> that is not true. Progressive rock is not preferred. Don't you troll me like that. Hold on one second. I wonder. <laughs> oh, for crap's sake. That way the light's actually going to be on my face. Which sucks for you guys, but... 
Um, let's see. Who was it who jumped the line? It was Octocock. Octohawk. <clears throat> what? Now it's, it's actually, well, it's because of the white screen. Anyway, I don't know why I'm so like, oh, but the lighting. Shut up, idiot. Just play the song. Okay. There are three freebies available, folks. Three. Freebies. Um, great. Oh, it's eight minutes. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Would love to hear your thoughts on Arcane Dawn from our upcoming album, Determinist, which drops June 7th. You reviewed our song, Weather the Storm, maybe a year and a half back, and the feedback was really appreciated. Great.
Yeah, I'm... So we're about halfway through the song now. So we're gonna find out whether or not we've been bait and switch. Arcane Dawn. That makes it sound like it's a, like an ancient dinosaur that you find in the ocean. The Arcane Dawn. We found the, <laughs> the bones of an ancient Arcane Dawn. So there's like a lot of good stuff in here. There's too much stuff. Um... I think they're, uh, the density of the mix feels very crowded, especially in the mid range. Um, it did, it was much less eight minute feeling than many, many, many prog songs that I have been, or we'll just say long songs that I have been subject to. And that's because you kept coming back to ideas like the, you had a chorus Um, that I will remember. Um, and this was not like a riff salad fucking nightmare. It was maybe actually a little bit too consistent. Um, like it was too much of the same dynamic for the most part. Um, and too much, like way more, way too much stuff happening all the time. Um, and that's me saying that as a gigantic maximalist. Okay. Like. <laughs> like the, my middle name is layers Trey layers Xavier 
Um, I tend to make things very dense. Um, but it's not about like layers. It's about the um, um, it's about the necessity of them during the part. Like where are things sitting rhythmically within uh, red. Uh, register wise um phrasing like are they locking in with certain rhythms and stuff it kind of felt like everything was just kind of like going like you know um and not like working together another freebie has been claimed oh and it's time for a new chet So these are all things that are very much worth considering. Like, it can be very dense and have a lot going on if everything is working together really well. To me, it was it was too much, not because there's a lot of stuff, but because the stuff is kind of fighting a little bit. Um, you don't want the stuff to fight. You want the stuff to work together. Now, once again, could be a bit of a could be a bit of a mixed thing. Could be something about this player. I've never used box before. It might be playing it back at shitty quality. Um, but it is extraordinarily cluttered. Um, and cluttered sounding. That's what you don't want. Okay. Great. All right. File grep. Says from an upcoming project. So it's going to be file grep and then cope will be next. And then Ricky mortal. Here we go. Welcome to the opposite game. Here. False promises do rain. I, Masks of you all voted for song. Truth. So you must have liked it. Chaos in the flame. Awaken your inner narcissist. And embrace the darkness within. I can wake my outer narcissist too. The tragedy for the common man. About to begin. <laughs> it's a long intro, and then an intro to the intro. I can see that you stop like in the waveform I can see that you stop too many fucking times. When it's going, it sounds good. 
Twisting like a knife. Knife strife. I will suggest that no one ever use the word strife in a song. Ever? Like, delete the word strife from your songwriting vocabulary. Because no one would ever say that word out loud. So much strife. I've never heard anyone use that in everyday life. Vocals are cool. And it's about to dump again. reference, even more of a reason not to do it. I mean, I don't think, I don't think uh, the people who wrote the Bible wrote, wrote the word strife in English. Because it wasn't written in English. So they had a different word. No surprises ripping solo. File grip. Always with the tasty links. Word strife a lot in uh, ancient Mesopotamia, wherever the fuck he's from. That's a nice harmony. for the common man a tragic fate within deceit's dark plan so no every time we've heard this only torment and pain the words they bleed little uh and it's art that stains this little thingy little accordion well, guy well, every single time we hear it i think it's all by itself and that kind of sucks Hello, villain troll Trollinski. I look better than Glenn. Well, he's got like 35 years on me or something. What do you want? I'm young and, and sexy and, you know, what is it? Old, uh, new hot, old and busted new hotness. So this song has some, has some really good sounding stuff. Um, but you, it feels like you just couldn't keep a, like any kind of consistency through it. Um, we've got, instead of like a, like dynamics that use the range of possible dynamics to, um, make people feel things, it's either like three or 127 and nothing in between. Um... Like, let's check this out. So, like, let's go to every time you dump the energy. Oh, 
Girls twisting like secret documents can Okay, so that's a like a bit of a take on that. And then it's game mode. And there's not really anything in between. Um the guy who lost his power is uh, Samson, the guy with the hair. Um if <laughs> luckily um, that doesn't actually happen because I cut my hair long ago and I am at f only now at full power. Ooh. I feel older than Glenn is though, for some reason, like physically. I mean, I worked out today. Okay. So... Naturally, I'm a little sore and crunchy, but so aside from that, this is pretty cool, but it feels like really ambitious without really the, um, without having a whole hell of a lot to say, if that makes sense. Um, I don't really understand the thinking behind dumping it over and over again like that like take it down to like half power or like three quarters or a quarter like let's have some um in betweenness right let's have some uh i, I don't know what to, i don't know what the word is in betweenness is the best you're getting today <laughs> okay yeah, like I want to hear some um, middle of the roadness. The, yeah, the half dumping. Exactly, Vincent Emerald. Um, the, yeah, you, because you keep building up some momentum and then dropping it. Okay. The potato intensifies. Um, when it's on, it's on, and it sounds good. Um, some of the lyrics are weird. But it's um like mostly good sounding good harmonies betwixity betwixt surprise motherfucker <laughs> betwixticity is probably the the one um so like. I want you to experiment with like having the um having the dynamics kind of flow more and not being so choppy like you've got a square wave of a song. Give me like a little more subtlety. It's not just on or off. That's what I think. Solo's a ripper. Yeah, I think the vocals sound nice too. Also. Um Okay, the rage, cope. What up, Sinister Bunny? Watching by your smoker. Like your meat smoker? That's what I call my wife, am I right? <laughs> See what he said about this. Looking for mixing, songwriting, and vocal feedback for this one. Looking for, to collaborate with all types of musicians as well. 
DM, DM if you'd like to work together. Says Drew Cope. Try holding on, feeling relieved. Time won't lie, it's life that deceives you. I, I think your clean guitar tone is kind of lame. Try holding on, feeling relieved. Time won't lie, it's life that deceives you. That's why it's harder to see. That's really cool vocal phrasing, though. Na, 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 na. Is this as far as you? Very shiny right now, and I'm gonna de shine myself with this napkin. I don't know what it is about that clean guitar tone that makes me unhappy. The low vocal is too high in the mix here. Instead of adding power, it's distracting. I mean, in case you haven't heard Cope in here before, dude's got a crazy fucking voice. Ah, once again, we've dumped all the momentum again. Why? Why? Why is this the spot for the solo? Why is that where that went? That's... I mean, that was a cool this. This has gone into the in, like that was an emotional moment. But like, what the fuck was it? any sense. Thank you, Kira. I appreciate that. Multi-platform following. It's good. Twitch is in many ways much better. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, no, what are you doing? Don't. the rage rage cage um so i think you this is a good example of how to be playing with those dynamics this has a lot of different kinds of dynamics that move the song forward um that in the middleness that i was talking about in betweenness whatever um is in there um now i think you you guys gotta watch out for the second verse dump okay like a lot of people doing the second verse dump um always consider at least try doesn't always work but Th think about where your first verse ends, dynamics-wise, intensity-wise, register-wise, all that stuff. And start your second verse there and go up from there. You can also do the dump and then immediately back up in energy. Okay? Um, That works really well. But, like, 
I don't want to ever feel like we have to build from scratch again for the second verse. That is, uh, that makes it feel like a slog. It's, uh, it's depressing. If like I instantly experience depression when I realize it's gone all the way back down. Um, King Jade X, you're gonna uh, has said it seems like my YouTube latency has improved, has it not? You guys are gonna fucking laugh. <laughs> we'll all laugh about this later because it's so funny. So there's a fucking switch, like a, a a setting in the stream called low latency, <laughs> and I just never even bothered to look and try it. So um, I uh, I flipped the switch. And uh, the latency apparently has improved. So that's good. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. Like, look at this shiny boy. What is this? I've taken a shine to me. I look like I went outside once, once in a while, like... Where is the switch? Asks Beats and Meats. Um, Dave, it's in stream settings, uh, in the live streaming spot thing, place, <coughs> situation. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's what I get. I'm gonna grab a water. Sorry, I thought that was going to be quicker. Um, so this is this is cool. Um, of all the things that you've sent in, this sits somewhere in the middle. It's pretty good. It's uh, your voice sounds crazy. No, uh, no surprise there. Um, but I feel like the verse vocals. I'm like maybe a little silly like it's hard to have like a cool sounding falsetto you're gonna hear me sing a little bit of falsetto in one upcoming in virtue song so I feel this pain um yeah this clean guitar tone is like It's filling me with the rage. And I can't figure out why. I don't know what it is about it that I don't like. Um, but I, I guess I don't really record a lot of g clean guitar tones, so I don't have any good advice for how to make it better. <laughs> um, aside from using um, archetype Corey Wong, but that could, it could have weird noises. Um, it could have literally been that. Um, I can also get bad guitar, clean guitar tones with Corey Wong, but they're the best ones that I've gotten. Um, Cracking of a cold one ASMR. Oh, it's Archetype Petrucci. <laughs> well, it's um. You know, like you could probably get a sick, clean guitar tone out of any of those archetype plugins that have clean sounds. It's mostly about like how you make it, um, you know, what you do with it. Um, I think that sound is a good sound for a different type of part. Um, Beep, 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 beep. Um, what was your pickup configuration for this performance? Like, 
it sounds like if you for this kind of like almost funky type of thing it needs to be like smaller sounding maybe too much reverb like i'm not really sure to be honest You always use the bridge pickup. Try just going boop, popping it up to two or four. <laughs> um. Anyway, could be could be a lot of things. Yeah, the color of your guitar. That's where you're fucking up. Pros use white guitars. Pros and very handsome geniuses only. And you didn't use an alder body, did you? With a maple neck? <sighs> Typical. I can totally hear it. And then this is me sniffing my farts. Terrible. Billy Corgan was definitely trolling. That's There's no question in my mind that that guy was trolling when he said that shit about the paint color. Um, it's a joke. It's a joke that the color of your guitar makes no difference. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Here's the next song. Oh, so it's good. It's good. You can, uh, all, you, all the things that I said are the things that I meant about that song. I think it's, I think it. Could use a revision, but it's pretty good. Um, yes. Uh, tongue Swad. My song is a song made by me and a member of my hip-hop group. We made it a little while back. The instrumental and lyrics are completely original. Just looking for general feedback. General feedback. The Way I Hurt. Sad face with 2007 music. Does that mean you made music in 2007? here to have a little dancey guy going blurry vision no cataract it's just i smoked an ounce of hash reflecting on a tragic past strike my blade upon the, the fuck grass are those and the grass it grew and it was very fast i strike it upon you what it will do is leave you in the past it'll leave you in the grass and yes it's very fast you chose who are you you do not want to get up in our path you thought you could pull through you must have never really did the math i'm focusing on you and then my vocal sword and he should slash thing I wish I had a bass sound ready to go um yeah like what the fuck happened you guys are now uh you can vote on this song what do you think song or gong um, yeah, this is, uh, this is not hitting for me. 
Like, you heard this and you were like, yeah, bass sounds like shit. Drop it. <laughs> um, and that sucks because, like, I can't hear anything else. I fucking, like, it was so distracting that I didn't, I don't think I listened to any of the vocals almost at all. I went like this. Oh shit, we got the final two freebies claimed. Thank you, Nuke, for handling those. Shh. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's Jean Graves. Or is it Jean Graves? Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Twitch. Um, so I'm not really sure what it is um, that you're going for with this. You started with something so cool and then just like... was made by 2007. Okay, so 2007 is the producer. You do not want to get up in our path. You thought you could pull through. You must have never really did the math. I'm focusing on you and then my vocal sword and he should slash. Like... Personally, I didn't like almost anything about this. Um, the whole thing feels incredibly low effort. A lot of, a lot of like rap things that wind up on SoundCloud uh, sound really low effort. So a lot of it feels like you got a beat, short little beat, and then you just like spend ten minutes writing something record it and then just like okay that's fine i guess but like it uh i think it needs a little bit more love and attention to make it good like i don't know like this so the little arpeggiator thing that starts it off i think this is cool and the and the drum part hit Like, at this point, I was like, let's fucking go.
Here we fucking go! Okay, like, that's what I heard. Um, low effort is kind of a good description. We realize it's like that. Okay, well. Um, does that... I don't know if I should tell you to try harder or if you already know that as well. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, do, do it better. Do all the parts of that better. <laughs> Okay. This is Kira Kills 7. What 7 did Kira kill? Um the song Unchained by No Tomorrow is about a story of feeling a snap and breaking free from the constant cycle of judgment. It's emo, it's core, we loved writing it. Lots of improvements coming up on our new next single. Well, why don't you send in your next single then? Okay, all feedback is welcome. Some feedback on songwriting and vocal melody would be great. Okay. Okay, yeah, a little like, uh, kind of like generic-y metalcore-ish for some of this. And like kind of a cool deathcore ending. Yeah, Born of Osiris-y breakdown. I see that. Um... Ah, the, um, so a little, like, yeah, some Azalea dying energy in here. This feels like a... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. so it's 
So this is the uh, da 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 da. The fucking. You know the one. First we had 2007, now it's 2005. Sounds great. Just like grandma used to make. I guess I muted the guitar somehow. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> this was like every At The Gates core band riff. No, the track is armed and it looks like it's making sound. Like, it's just not going anywhere. That's really weird. Well, well. Oh, we were talking about uh, Archetype Petrucci. That's what you would be hearing if I could make it work. What the fuck? Did I accidentally like turn the volume down or something? No. Look at, you can see it. Look, look, look at that. You can see the little thing he's moving. I, how many engineers does it take? Anyway, um, so kind of generic in a way. My voice is doubled? No, it's not. Fucking trolling. I like the I like the scary synth sound. Guys, I'm so very fucking stupid. You remember earlier when I was like, check out this cool thing I can do. Guess who did the fucking thing? No, it's it's not MIDI volume. It's, um, I... So I set a, um, I put an EQ, no, a filter on the master volume output. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's down, oh, okay, it's down here. And I have an expression pedal that I assigned to roll it off. Um so that I can do cool underwater things. So I can get the same effect just with a little less intensity. But then I can bring it up like I don't give a fuck. Like your mom is who I hump. Oh yeah! Anyway. Um, but, you know, so it's user error. Yeah, so, um, the vocal phrasing in this is also very bland. 
Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I want to say that that, like, sucks, but it actually hits. A little bit, um... This part is cool, too. This has a lot of... Something weird on the vocal pitch, also. And then very evil breakdown. So I think you just need to make less generic things. I think you've got the talent and the skill to make something cool. And those keyboards, like those synth orchestration thingies, are giving it enough flavor. You know? Um, to make it less generic sounding. Um, and that chorus is pretty good. Like, pretty pretty good. You need better production. You need tighter performances. And you need to make something that doesn't sound like leftover MySpace core. Um, but I think you will. Soon. This song is literally called Strife. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Now I feel like I'm being trolled. Make it sound more like The Doors. I fucking hate The Doors. Okay, Hangman's Park. Strife. <laughs> Has something to it. If your drummer sucks, you have two choices when it comes time to record. Number one, 
just uh, uh it's more than two choices really but make have drums on there that are not him or her okay either program them or hire somebody else to play them okay or edit them so that they're useful to in the song that they sound good like edit them to be not garbage like or like you know you can do a lot of punch punching and like like it takes sometimes it takes a lot but like don't let this be what goes on the fucking album Real? The whole thing is weak as fuck. It's got a little bit of like a death vibe. And it feels like the parts could have been cool. I'm getting a little bit of like death. And what is the fucking other band? That just reminds me of. Christian metal band that's really sick. Tourniquet. Bit of a tourniquet vibe. And there's a lot of sick stuff in here. <laughs> As I lay dying, no. Um, did I already say thank you to Ruby Rain for following? I don't know that I did. And Professonal. This doesn't sound anything like As I Lay Down. I mean, it, it feels a little bit like Ron Jarzombek got hit in the head with a brick. Don't just name every Christian metal band you've ever heard of, okay? This is just off the rails. Okay, I absolutely appreciate the um the ambition of this. I think it's kind of um exciting and fun it is it feels like this drummer needs um it just needs to get better because the parts are really interesting some of them are a little not fitting super well but like i can hear what he's trying to do i just don't <sighs> I, I like just want it to be better. <laughs> Dynamorphic wants to know if they're real drums. If they're not real drums, why the fuck would they be this messy? Like the point of programming them would be to make them tight. There's so much fucking <clears throat> This has crazy potential. It's very interesting. It just needs It just it just needs to be tighter. Because right now it's unlistenably loose and wonky. Everything is programmed, including the vocals. You joke. You can absolutely. Yeah, see, I think this groove is cool as shit. Maybe it's a little too busy on the ride. But this is like unique and cool. Anyway, programming these kinds of vocals is not so far on the horizon. How do you get a balance between too loose and too tight? You, ha you have to have control. So, 
describe the optimal sound of drums? <laughs> Kegels. Kegels. I, I describe the optimal thing as the that what people generally want. There's a Goldilocks zone that I call the superhuman sub robot. Okay. That space is pretty narrow. That that because it's easy to just grid everything and make it sound really robotic and kind of boring and like obviously that's super different for uh for edm that's what you want is a robotic sound but um for something that's rock based that is supposed to have like what oh, I, there needs to be a word for fucking <laughs> strife or wife ha <laughs> that's good there needs to be a word that describes not real drums because they might also be programmed i'm just going to call them real drums even fake real drums okay uh pico pico but yeah the the superhuman sub robot you want it to be tighter so we want you you want it to be tight enough that it feels like somebody who's really good and playing well and in the pocket and groovy, but you don't want it to be above the robotic level. Like maybe a, a, like obviously there's like a little bit of play in there between styles and genres and all this. Um, like most death metal drummers, I think strive to be not robotic, but like incredibly fucking tight. So, I don't know. Um, I think that this drummer with like a with a lot of wood shedding and working on tightness could be outrageously fucking awesome because the ambition level is off the charts, and i I appreciate that a great deal. Um, and I think the song itself is pretty cool. But, like, right now, it is not not tight enough to be on an album. Um, in my opinion. In my opinion, like, I just spent almost this whole time talking about drums because it was so fucking distracting to listen to that. Like it, it, it took me out of it so badly. Um, but I dig it. Um, check out the song uh, "Besprinkled with Scarlet," uh, "Besprinkled in Scarlet Horror" by Tourniquet. That is a fucking jam. Um, and and some of that is is reminiscent. of that um kind of a sound some of their some of their songs um okay currently we've got nothing in the queue i believe um so now's a great time to submit and know what we got but we got no freebies strife or wife guys what do we think vote um yeah i think there's a lot of cool shit in here damn edwin crane fried his pc bummer yeah that's a that's not what you want to do oh welcome back What else does this need? The drums are also really 
really dry. <laughs> oh, right. The, fucking, the family guy thing. The life of the wife is ended by the knife. <laughs> My palate is still underdeveloped for your nuanced music. That's true. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. Someday. Um, oh, man, I remember the color morale. That was a weird... That was a weird and interesting, unique band. I remember liking them. <laughs> um, the drummer for Tourniquet also did these... Um, he did an album or maybe a couple albums where he would drum along to classical music, and it was fucking crazy. There was one song that I will never be able to remember the fucking name of that he made a video for and stuff, and I was like... It was so much fun. I had a great time. Um, that was a long time ago. Oh, mercy. All right. Who else we got? Who's next? Who's next? Well, we're waiting. We're waiting. The life of the wife was ended by the knife. The wife of the life, life of the wife was ended by the knife. That's a fucking great episode. I like went on a little bit of a family guy binge a couple weeks ago. And like, I don't know that there's a, a TV show that I love more than that. Um, I love Family Guy so fucking much. <laughs> so much. Anyway. Um, yeah, so what else is, uh, what else we, what else is good? It's only five o'clock, folks. How are we feeling about this uh this two PM start start time, huh? I kinda dig it. I get to work out and then have a little bit of time before we go. You think Family Guy fell off after the third or fourth season? I think it's still fucking good. 20 plus years after it started. I think it's still funny. It's more than the Simpsons can say. I have a friend who is a Simpsons obsessive, like, uh, like has a, a Simpsons leg that is covered in Simpsons tattoos, and he's he won't watch past season seven, I think. I was like, Jesus. Oh, I love Futurama. song or will I just have to die or not 
do I get to continue to live? Speaking of loosey goosey. I need to, um, I need to figure out how to use this sustain pedal. That's the main thing. So MIDI guitar. I have gotten this to work. You can use a sustain pedal plugged into a keyboard that's plugged into your DAW and use the sustain pedal on the... Oh, that's the wrong one. But for some reason it won't work. And the problem with that is that I... Sounds like a good time until I have to change chords. What beautiful accompaniment. Steve Grabruski! Fuck. Steve Grabruski! Thank you for your donation. You have been added to the list. <laughs> yeah, I need 27 chicken fajitas, please. Chicken fajitas. That's a fucking great one. Oh no, the responsiveness of the jam stick is great. It has nothing to do with that. I mean... You like our team hunger for us, Steve H? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, I think. It's been a long time since I watched that show. It was pretty crazy, and it's amazing that I liked it even though I don't do drugs, because I'm just a little ball of meat. Um, ah, here we go. All right. Hey, Trey, this song is about battling forms of addiction. I just made it yesterday, so it still could use some tweaking. Let me know what you think. All right. South Park is also great. Magnetaurus, hello. All right, here we go. Uh, Stronger. Stronger than yesterday. Oh, loud, punchy, nice. I never wanted to control Walked a path of broken dreams Everyone is left alone Alone down on my knees I see the warning lights ahead I feel the struggle in my core I'm running out of life lines Nice, really out nice You know I'm good sound like 
Thanks for making me a fighter. Before I fade into the light, I gotta fight it on my own. Crank it up the heat for the second verse. Alright, is that the song or gone, folks? What do you think? Your verse is better than your chorus. Sounds good, like... Um, there's also an Amaranth song called Strong that is a, has a little bit of the same kind of vibe. Nice! This is nice. <laughs> don't, no, don't say... Wake me up. I can't wake up. Let me tell you what I liked about this the most. You have a lot of things in the mix and they all are um, occupying their own space. Nothing is fighting with each other. None of the elements are, um, are yeah, fighting for space, fighting for register. All of the like... Um, secondary parts the background parts sit nicely in the background where they're supposed to be and all of the foreground elements are like um framed well by it um and it does have like a little bit of a butt rock octane jam but it doesn't feel it doesn't have the annoying tough guy vibe of it um, it just sounds like a, yeah, it just sounds like a nice, complete song. Yeah. Production's pretty good. Like considering you said you wrote this yesterday, like you must have a pretty good mix template. Yes, I agree. Bad bandito. The vocals throughout the rest of the song are much, much better and more exciting than the chorus, which is where they really need to happen. That's a really nice clean tone. May actually be close to the one that we heard earlier that I didn't like, but for this part it works. I'm relatively certain that this is not in virtue. I feel like this needs to like. You know I'm gonna be stronger. Gonna fight it out longer. Bring it bones and it always a crime. It's only a matter of time before I get stronger. Scream a little bit louder. I don't know, like.
second, like, hear how the second verse, like... Yeah, like, listen to the secondary guitar parts. They're in there, but... Uh, it doesn't sound like the typical, like, ambient guitar gent fucking thing that's just like washy and shitting all over everything like it feels it feels like it belongs there and it's not distracting but it's also present enough for you to hear it if you want That especially to me sounded like the level of uh, scream you would hear in an Evanescence song. I've said this once maybe a couple times before. There's a part in an Evanescence song, it's tucked way the fuck in the back. You can hear her fucking scream, I wanna die. Like, I wanna die. It sounds like she was screaming her fucking ass off and then they just like turned it way down. And it's so intense and awesome. I don't remember what song it's on. It's from the, the first album. Here, which is like... Great album. I think this is good i think uh did anybody see the uh the thing that jason richard posted yesterday about because they're working on the new um all the remains album he posted a, a thing in his story talking about how they're gonna need a, a touring tambourine player because <laughs> there's gonna be so much tambourine on it. i was like my man um so when I say that sort of thing, what I actually mean is that I want something to subdivide further um, to add a layer of intensity. I fucking... I pulled some shaker eggs out the other day, and I wish I could remember where I put them. Hold on. Like, that kind of thing could be any of a number of different things, okay? Like, could be a little, like, 808 hats. Um, could be a, a sh egg shaker tambourine. Could be a, could be a synth. Right? Could be um, just something to 
take us into the, uh, you know, the next realm. See, I checked that time. Make noises. Make noises. I want to hear those fucking noises. Well, one of these days I'll learn how to use this fucking... Oh, hey! going to submit a live song like a live performance of something yeah I mean like I can't think of any reason why that would be a problem know what I'm saying um, like if you're using that as like a Oh, but it's live. That's why I, you know what I mean? Uh, how do I put this? <laughs> then there's a knock at the door. and He's just there like, hello, I am ready to perform my song for you live. Like I said. Yeah, I mean, you can't be like, it sucks because it's live. So therefore you can't critique me. Does that make sense? Like, but yeah, yeah, that's doesn't matter. Live, dead, life metal, strife metal, wife metal. What is your address? Oh, I, do you have a pen? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I don't remember the rest of them. Street. America. So my fucking Alesis drum pad is broken, and that makes me very sad. Because normally I'd be like, let me show you. Um, but it's doing this thing where it gets, uh, where it hangs on the opening screen. So I'm just going to have to. I don't know what. Oh. One thing that I've noticed, so uh, 
John says a lot of super singers often have better live versions than their studio releases. Here's the thing about like studio production stuff. This is also true in pop music. Like the studio production, like is like one of these guys, right? Like a lot of the time it's like somebody with one of these, you know, tweaking splice samples, like adding little things here and there. Maybe some of it's live instrumentation. Maybe, the drums are probably fake. And then the artist goes on tour and gets a fucking sick band. And then they play it. And it's like, oh, shit. Like uh, Carol G, the reggaeton superstar. Um, uh, what is uh, Seuss? Oh, what is her last name? Vasquez? Um ultra sick guitar player that was uh introduced to me my by felix martin at nam one year and then i followed her and like a couple years later she's posting videos playing in front of like playing fucking madison square garden or whatever um like playing super sick guitar solos on these reggaeton songs that do not have guitar solos you know or re probably real guitar or, or real anything and i was like damn i would really like to hear that rather than like like 808, boom, couple, couple, like way sicker with a live band. So, um, there are currently no freebies available, Eli. Um, yeah, that kind of like that. That reggaeton beat kind of like seeped its way into everything. And like, I used to think it was cool like five years ago. I love uh, live hip hop bands. That shit's so cool. I saw um, uh, the great face was taken. Thank you for following. Um, I saw, uh, I saw black eyed peas before Fergie was in the band. That was ultra sick. I saw um I saw Tech 9 and he played with the band and it was fucking awesome. But um how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm a bit toasty. Kind of toasty in here, but if I turn on the air conditioning it gets It's loud. Oh, it says the great ace, not the great face. Good point. Um, <laughs> wah, wah. I like, I got this screen partly so that I could make the text like a bit bigger and see it and read it better, but it's also still kind of far away. <laughs> yeah, I really, really liked seeing Tech 9 I mean, I like fast things. I, um, fast things with a lot of uh, small, subdivisions in them really make my brain go brrr, brrr. I should check out that Usher Tiny Desk concert that sounds cool Wu-Tang have a guitar player damn um oh there it is Oh, 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 all right, Schmar. Thank you for your donation. You have been added to the list. I guess I didn't really like. I said things about this song, but I didn't really have a conclusion, I just realized. 
I want your sorry about the stronger song. I got distracted and I think I didn't say a whole lot because it was just pretty good. Um, but I, I like I think your I think you need to sort of punch up your chorus quite a bit because it's pretty good. But the rest of the song is better, and you don't want everything else about the song to be better than the chorus. I mean. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, so this is apparently live. Ooh, look at that. It's been played 69 times. Nice. It's a mom. Schmar. Schmar. Who's a who's a mom out there? Anybody anybody a mom? Oh. Mothers, I, mothers in the I house. I know you are. There we go. This song's for you. Got a couple. I'm a mother too. So. <laughs> a different kind of mother. I have a contact at Elisa's, so we'll probably help either way. That's a that's an interesting chord progression you've got here. Ambitious chords. Bonds by the sun. You look nice and fun. <laughs> Some kids no. running to you Not that lyric And then you smile And wipe some sand From your hair It's not fair It's a mom How could you pop up for children And still look like that? <laughs> oh a banger chorus. What the fuck is this verse? It's a little reminiscent of the secret Again, song on Dookie. I was alone. It's a mom. How can you pop up for children and still look like that? Oh, it's, it's a, a mom. mom. That's a hook. That's a banger. I mean, obviously this is meant to be funny. You flirt with me, I'll flirt with you. It's clear there's more that you like to do. But your kids ruin me. I'm tired of this shit. And I'm full of diapers, I might as well quit. Why don't you get an any or two? So I can't fool around with you. Many of you, every day. How come I can get no play the worst thing? You're making me laugh, so. 
so that's something. That's a lot more than that. You're a mom. How can you pop out for children and still look like that? Like, by the end, by this point, you've got the crowd singing along. In most situations. For some reason, I picture you playing this in a public library. I dated a librarian once. <laughs> it's a mom. That's funny. That's fucking funny. Um, yeah. Extra silly. Good, like, a uh, little bit um, Flight of the Concords. Silly, acoustic, folky energy. Um, it's a mom. You know, like, it could be, like, maybe the worst verse in the history of <laughs> music. That's not true, but bad in, in, a, in a conventional music sense. Uh, like no flow, like really painfully awful, dumb rhymes, but like really, but very funny. <laughs> Once I caught the vibe, you know what I mean? Like once I figured out what you were going for, then I was on board. Um, if that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> Like I'll laugh. I'll think. I'll la think about this later and laugh. And my girlfriend will be like, "What the fuck are you laughing at?" I'll be like, "It's a mom." <laughs> How can you pump up four kids and still look like that? Um, I'm of two minds about comedy music. So I think that it's like kind of too easy to do i have resisted making like f just becoming a full-on comedy musician um because like i want to be taken seriously as an artist <laughs> um and i feel like it would be easy um but not as fulfilling as i would like a m music career to be Oh no, drop. I'm sorry. I was thinking about doing Saturday and then I then I didn't. I was hoping that putting the uh early what is it called? notification on the Discord would have uh I don't know. Um, would have done the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. That was not my intent. Um, th th that's the problem. It's it's kind of hard for me to communicate on mass with all of everybody. It's a major fucking problem with social media. Like, you guys could, like, subscribe. Um, You guys could, like, follow, subscribe, hit the like button on everything, watch everything I ever do. Follow me on multiple formats, m multiple outlets, and still not get a fucking notification from any of it. Actually, the most consistent notifications that I get are from Twitch. I turned Twitch notifications on my mobile device, and I get a notification anytime somebody follows goes live. I get it on, goes live. I get it on my phone. I get it on my Apple Watch. Um, 
and uh, and that's really weird and interesting, but um, it's nice. Because uh, I have been following a lot of people on Twitch and watching them to see how they do it, how they do a good job, try different things. I have been streaming this entire time on a camera that I received today. That's kind of crazy, realistically. And actually, it looks just as good. So this one... This one you're looking at right now is the Blackmagic 6K. This is the Blackmagic Micro Studio 4K G2 um, with like a much less sick lens on it. I literally just like, I, I, I went through and like fixed some of the settings on it a bit um but like it looks fucking good it looks just as good as the other one maybe better i follow a lot of uh live looping live loop streamers like um ordo pilots he's really good and kendra lissa who does like completely different music from what I do. Um, like, incredibly low-key, super chill shit. People seem to really like it. Um, yeah. So, the uh, to although, to be fair, so it's a 6K camera, but um, it does not have a 6K output um, on, what is it called? What are you called? HDMI. For some fucking reason, the HDMI out is only 1080. But you are seeing the full 6K uh, sensor. So, like, whatever. You did not get the YouTube notification. Yeah, I mean, uh, Discord is probably your best bet. Make sure that you've got notifications turned on on Discord. Um, yeah, it only records, records to the hard drive in 6K. Maybe also uh, SDI out, but I don't have any way to put an SDI in. <laughs> so I'm like, ugh. <laughs> this camera's going to change everything. I can feel it. Um, so, um, mainly I wanted a... Um, I wanted something a lot smaller. Because the 6K is fucking enormous. And I have a huge lens on it. It's a, it's, it is truly huge. I mean, it's a proper fucking... It's, it's not for this. It's not intended for this at all. Um, so, but this little one, right now it's on a slider that I, ha I don't have turned on. Um, um, and this is going to be, I, this is me getting this stuff going for when I do live looping performance streams. How about the P. Diddy thing? You know? I haven't been super duper paying attention, but it looks bad. It looks bad. Um... Ooh. Like if I just get if I just get more lights, then people will love me and appreciate my genius. Um
Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, like it doesn't matter because I'm I'm streaming at 1080. Anyways, um, so like it's not going to make a difference really. Um, but the problem is is a dumb one. Okay, it's a dumb problem. Most of my problems are dumb kind. Um, I think I've complained about this on here before, but oops, what do we do? Um, but fucking the camera is 6k. If I record in 6k, the files are enormous. If I record in 4k, for some reason it fucking crops. And then the output can only do 1080. So I can only record in 6K or 1080, not in 4K. What the fuck? Um, ooh, but such is life, eh? Yes. All right, how we feeling, folks? What else you got for me? What else you got for Trey? Yeah, my old camera, the I had a, a Sony, but or, I mean a um a Canon before I switched to Sony, and I liked it a lot. I don't remember which one it was. Um, but it did it went the other way. If I recorded in, it was I shot most things in 1080, and then if I recorded in 4K, it was a crop. This one goes the other way around. I don't understand. 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 Stand. Dramatic. I went through and I labeled what pitches are on this pad. Still doesn't help. Yeah, that's a it's a it's it's called a Bram. Bram. Blah. Oh, okay. Which one is this? What am I doing? I'd kill to hear a... Beyonce do a metal song. That would be amazing. Jonathan Linton, thank you so much for your donation. You have been added to the list. Oops, where are you going? That's not where you go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Another live one. Cool, here we go. Oh, I'm going to see you, aren't I? We were talking about that last time, and now it's getting even closer. Like, not even three weeks, I'm going to be chilling with John Linton. 
John Linton and the Parliament Funkadelic. Oh, my God. This shit right here. All right. You shook me all night long. Live cover. I've heard this song before. A little bit of crackly in the left. See if you can do it. This is a hard one to sing, man. She was a fast machine. She kept the motor. What? She was the best damn woman that I what? ever seen. She had the side, the side. Bro. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I knew he could do it. What the fuck? <laughs> That's dead on. That's a... What up, Mark Mitchell? Killer, dude. <laughs> I can't believe you're still going. I'd be able to do this for 30 seconds. <laughs> Sarush! to jam along but I'm not going to you even hit the pitch like a laser beam Draw Audio wants to know why metalheads love this falsetto singing, but hate emo singing. It makes no sense. It makes perfect sense when you remember that metalheads are fucking idiots. <laughs> you want to play this live in Taipei? John <laughs> Dude, it's kind of scary good. Like, like I'm worried. Jesus, man. What the fuck? That is too fucking close. Um, yeah, shit. I don't know what else to say. Like, it was just dead on. It's funny, like, those little moments where it's like, where you're losing it just a tiny bit. That's the only moment that I'm like, oh, fuck, that's John, <laughs> you know? Not like, like the rest of it, if you'd have put a gun to my head and been like, is this a person that you've heard sing before? Or is it, who isn't the singer for ACDC? Or is it the singer for ACDC? I'd be like, uh, is the singer for ACDC? And then I would die. 
at last feel the sweet embrace of death. Can I do it? Let's see. You shook me all night long. I just feel like I'm, I, like, if I try to do that, I feel like I'm trying to be a witch. Like. Inking double time on the production line. <laughs> I sound like a, like a chicken that just got kicked. That was killer, dude. What the fuck? No notes. No notes. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! That's the tray sound of approval, the, the owl noise. Let me see if I remember how to play it. <laughs> it's not supposed to be able to trigger all of that stuff that's really funny no no please Oh. Why can't I disarm it? Because it's not not armed, I guess. Make the guitar make noise, Trey. Make the guitar make a guitar sound right now. That's all you need to do. And we'll let you live. Yeah, I don't have a convenient way to make it not sound like all of the other MIDI things that I've got it plugged into at the moment. Yes, I do. It's called this mute button. It's called this one. It's called... the fuck this e string keeps sticking underneath the frets though that's a bummer might have to hammer those in a little bit is it just those two parts and the guitar solo uh, oh, night long So this is a great example of how to use dynamics to turn a three chord jam into a masterpiece. Syncopation, massive syncopation, injecting space in the verse and then opening it wide up for the chorus. It's only three fucking chords. It's literally a one, four, five. You 
took me all night long. You took me all night long. You took me all night long. You. On the production line, na, 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 na. Boots and cats and boots and also cats. Um, DC. Boots and cats, DC. ACD cats. Like. Now, also, cool melody. Big sunglasses, cool band. No, cool melody, um, simple, but like, you know. Great performances. Yeah, every ACDC song is like the same fucking thing. But the reason that it works, and they still have hundreds of thousands of people going to see them play in their 60s, 70s, I don't fucking know is because they did it right. Dynamics, syncopation, giving you a payoff. Huge, huge fucking choruses. Massive. Um, and songs about fucking. <laughs> like, what more could you want? Um... So anyone who's just arrived, this is what I've been spending most of my time doing. Getting my guitar to do this. That's all coming off of, I mean, being triggered by my guitar. I really like uh, A Touch Too Much. That's one of my favorite ACDC songs. Like, keeping in mind that I don't really like ACDC that much. Like, I'm not, I don't listen to ACDC for funsies. But because I used to teach guitar and work at a music school, I had to learn a lot of them and hear a lot of them, you know? Um, that would have been a good time. Um, yes, for sure. Chris Barnes on vocals for ACDC. I mean, we can, we can hear that. I mean, how many, uh, how many of those fucking albums did that shitty band put out? How many graveyard classics are there? God, that's fucking awful. Oh. Six feet under is what people think death metal sounds like for people who it's what death metal sounds like to people who don't like death metal. Jesus fucking Christ. I went and listened to some of those once and I was like, why? Why didn't they do a whole album of ACDC covers?
So check out what's happening here on this guitar. The low string is just this bass arpeggiator thing. These two strings have this like house MD music arpeggiator. Uh, these have this weird choir. Oh, and this too. Yes, Ola was totally in six feet under for a minute. I think he toured with them. Yeah, daytime drama t TV sounds. And it's always like, it's always a Dorian or Mixolydian type of a mode sound. I have all every season of House on DVD. Um, ooh. By Mark Mitchell. No, he's he's. Did he record with them too? Oh, I didn't know that. Anyway, I like House. Every episode is more or less the same. And that's okay with me. I actually tried to rewatch it a few years back. And what I realized is that it kind of gives me... Um, like medical anxiety <laughs> you know like suddenly you you understand what these weird things are and then you're like i think i have that i think i have inverted kidneys or what the fuck ever um and so it's it you know That sucks, but I, uh, what is the other thing that I was watching? Oh yeah, I'm in the middle of watching The Blacklist, which is more or less the same thing every episode. And I'm like totally okay with shows like that. <laughs> like you find a format, a formula, and just repeat it over and over again with some like little variations and then like a larger story arc. Take my fucking money. Demoitis, Baron von Munchausen by proxy. <laughs> can we? Can we confirm that he actually played on an album? I'd be very curious to know. Malignant diarrhea, not to be confused with benevolent diarrhea <laughs> or benign, I guess. Hashimoto's, yeah. Okay, here's the other problem with watching House MD. It makes you believe that somewhere on planet Earth, there are doctors who actually care whether or not they find out what's wrong with you. And that maybe there's a possibility that not just one doctor, but two or maybe three are going to get together and look at your chart and go, hmm, 
let me think of a couple different things this could be instead of just being like, no, you're a liar. Here's your bill. It's $35,000. Like, the idea that somebody would go to bat that hard for your health is such a fucking fantasy. <laughs> And that's probably also why the show is so popular. Wow, he really did record with him. That's funny. It really is a great show, though. I, I I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, he hates people. He loves saving them. Well, he loves the puzzle. And I also love puzzles. So, um... Makes sense that I would like that show. I saw... The guy who plays House, Hugh Laurie, play a show. And I met him. And he signed my ticket stub. I think I've talked about this on here before, so I might get, you know, I might be repeating myself. American doctors are pieces of shit. Yes, mostly. In my experience, they mostly suck. Yes, he was a comedy star in the UK. He's incredibly funny. So when I saw him um, play, he was he played old timey blues, um, with uh, like really authentic sounding old timey blues with a band. He brought a whole fucking grand piano, his own grand piano. We saw them loading it out at the end, um, and like he would stand up there and like in between songs he would talk, and he wasn't even telling jokes. And everybody was laughing their ass off. He was kind of like, that wasn't really meant to be funny, but okay. <laughs> He's just so fucking funny. Um, the story about him auditioning for the show is also, that's not the one that I wanted, um, is also incredible. They were, the fucking producers were like, we don't want any, like, foreigners playing this role like i want to see some americans with a good american accent whatever and he f like they watched his audition tape and the producer was like see a good old american <laughs> it's quite good quite good Yeah, I mean, like, I just don't understand how there's so much goddamn money in healthcare, but, like, they still got to run all the doctors and nurses fucking ragged and, like, don't want to hire other ones and then also can't actually do the fucking one thing that they're supposed to do. It's like... Just, you know, you might as well just kill me. Um, so how we doing? Uh, do we have uh, anybody got some more songs to send in? Going on, uh, we just passed four hours. Okay, here's a question. Should I... Should I stick it out and see if we get the late night rally crew? That's a thing that I um, that I used to do. Um, it's possible that maybe the move should be that I take a dinner break and then come back at some point because the late night rally situation implies to me that there's a group of people. Sarush has something. 
Um, uh, you know, like there's an early crew and a late crew and no in between crew. Um, man, I think I need to take some ibuprofen. My God, he's still breathing. Um, yeah, so um, what I've been doing, or what I did uh, last week, the week before, week before maybe, after the submissions run out, I just go to Twitch and do some reactions to other people's music. Um, and I've got Andrew Jackson editing those, and those are going to go on the cl Twitch Clips stream. And it's great. And that's fun. The problem, of course, is that I can't... Uh, I have to do that on Twitch. I can't do it on YouTube. Oof. Yeah, hold on a second. I'm just going to grab a couple. My old man bones. Um, yeah, um, Andrew already finished one. Where is O'Doyle? I feel like we asked this recently, too. And I do not recall the answer. Um, oh! For a while, I would like make music when the uh, when the stream got slow, but I don't know if that's. I don't know. The problem is, by the time I get to that point, I'm like a, a bit shot. I'm okay with... Uh, I'm okay with doing critiques when I'm a little bit shot because uh, s depending on where on the shot meter I am... I kind of get um, like almost more honest sometimes or like whatever. Um, or like more like I l have even lower inhibitions. <laughs> one of the uh, one of the things about being Trey Xavier is that um, Part of the reason that people drink and do drugs is to lower their inhibitions to where my inhibitions are most of the time. Um, know what I'm saying? So, like, when I just, like... When mine are lowered even a little bit further, like, I'm not going to, like, take my pants off and dance on a table, but, you know. Um, part, of, part of the problem, too, is that I stream standing up to keep up the energy, 
There weren't a lot of like dancey bangers today. So like I didn't dance a lot. Um, but like I stand up to keep the energy up because if I sit, I start to like, you know, but that also means that I'm like tired. I don't know. It also means that what, Trey? It means a lot of things. It means I can't finish sentences. Oh, hey, yo, whoa, hey, yo, whoa. Whoa. Sarush, Sarush. Of the clan of Oosh. Oosh, 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 Oosh. Sir Oosh, 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 Oosh. What am I? How does this? Come on now. Okay. I don't really need Twitch open there. All I need. I don't need that either. Okay, great. Um, you've had 1,400 milligrams of caffeine? That That's a lot. <laughs> Zymie in the house. What up? What up? Welcome. Welcome. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Sarush says, Hey, yo. I haven't sent you a song in so long. Here's an electronic ish song called Red Light Syndrome I've been working on. It's got a super weird structure, and only, and the only part that has vocals is the bridge. LOL, I'm happy with the structure, but still needs production work. That's what I want feedback on. I feel like it's missing something, but IDK what? Also, needless to say, not mixed yet. Okay. Production work. Gotcha. This could also be House MD Core. This is the part where after he fixed somebody, he like, he takes his pills. It, it by himself in his apartment. And then maybe throws something in frustration. nice so far Ooh. saying nothing made me dance today. That chord transition is fucked up. Fix that. Caffeine gives me the illusion that I'm alive. We were just talking about caffeine. Wait, were we talking about that because of? No. 
What are the chances? I don't think you needed that drop out there. Something, there's a note that is hanging over that chord change that's, that's fucking it up. I'm enjoying this. Huge drop there. No fucking. This is blue balls. So first name Sarush, last name blue balls. This is not what I wanted to end the song. I want that to be enormous. That's what she said. Um, I think it's a you've got a little bit of a dynamics problem in here because it's um there were a couple moments where I felt kind of like uh, no, just 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 give him the stick. Um I think you've got some really cool chords in here, some really cool production, like cool, really cool sounds, nice sounds. Um, I think it can still be chill in a way. Mwah. What key we got here? Etc. I don't understand why this. Well, I don't understand why anything. Really. Um, yeah, but I really like the sounds. I like what's that? Oh. Lostovane. Welcome. Thank you for following on the Twitch. Twitch is where the party's at, folks. Follow me on Twitch. Otherwise. Well, okay, there's no consequences. Okay, there's there are none. I don't know what I could possibly threaten you with. <laughs> Accurate. You get you buy the course. It's the course isn't even as good as one stream. I'm like yeah, so like, what you really want is for your song to sound like Yeah, so the, what you want to do is just make your song sound like that. Okay, bye! That's the whole thing. And then like maybe put like some sick guitar riffs. And then the song would be like, Kill or be killed. 
kill or be killed. 100% that's a song somewhere. <laughs> the Undertow. Kill or be killed. Yeah, I wrote a song, uh, actually, it might be like two years ago at this point, but on stream, um, where I was like, I want dubstep sound here. What do you, how do you do it? And I like looked up some tutorials and stuff, and then I was like, no, I will fake. And uh, in fucking sample tank, there's like a really decent sounding like wub bass thing. And I just like, like I just like fucked with it until it did what I wanted it to do. Um, and I was like, I am satisfied. Like, real dubstep. You know, I, I think there is um something about me that makes me want to be a musical um tourist so badly and try all sorts of new sounds and stuff and just take little bits and bobs from here and there and everywhere and i think that's uh has benefited me in a lot a lot of ways because it makes me feel musically worldly like i've i've experienced a lot of different sounds and like found uses for them but at the same time like dubstep exists because they like kind of didn't do that like they did this one thing and then there's like other cool there's like I mean, it's like fairly diverse in a way, but like dubstep is that. It's the wow, wow, right? And they're not going to do, it's not dubstep if it's like, just sounds like death metal or something, right? Um, and I just like, I don't know. I just want to try all the things. I want to try all the musical things. Yeah, I like it. I mean, dubstep is like more sound design than anything else. And uh, I really like the sound of it. I love that. Anyway, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this. So, Sarush, um, we're going to run this back. I want to listen to it again because it's a very. Um, enjoyable listen overall score. I just want to know where we're from and where we're going been a long, dark trip. Do not come. Do not come. Uh, what was that? What was that? Hold on. Little, uh, tried to do a little Dorian twist there with a major six, but it didn't work. Took me out. Why do I feel like this would have some, like, really sad, like, clip from a movie of a girl, like, eh, my life is a nightmare. Actually, I did a song, I know what I'm thinking of. I did a song for my senior recital that actually kind of sounded like a real shitty version of this. Where I used quotes from things that had my name in it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going for, Topher. That is the meme that has been making me laugh the hardest recently. Do not come.
I want to hear like industrial drill sounds right there. I don't know if that's going to make it better, but that's what I want. Right now, Sarush is bringing the beats, making me feel like dancing, making me feel like dancing like an asshole. It's the only way I know to dance. It's the only way I know to dance. It's the only way I know to dance. It's the only way I know to dance like an asshole. Only way I know to dance. Yeah, I feel like this kind of kills the momentum here, like. But if you're not gonna do a big drop right here. <laughs> like distorted 808's kind of a sound. Or like big, like, um. Like cinematic trailer. type of drums but as a beat not just the brams brahms it's nice uh yeah it just feels um Feels un inconclusive, unconcluded, conclusionless. <sighs> Let's ask the computer. Oh. Why isn't? Hmm, I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot that the wake word is changed to that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Why is that not that loud? That was obviously uh, not good. Millennial animal, millennial animal, millennial animal. What just, what happened? What happened? What's going on? Millennial animal.
Millennial animal. Millennial animal. Millennial animal. Son of a bitch. Oh, Mordecai. Hey. Thank you for your donation. He just it just says, don't stop. Don't stop the streaming. Hold on to that feeling. Play some dream theater. Don't do that. Did I hit clip? I don't even remember. I hope so. Okay. Um, so this is some old dubstep that uh, Mordecai did 10 years ago. Nope, nope. Start from the top. Oh, new hat. All right, Mordecai, you push this over the edge. What do you want? Can you give us a little bit of insight into how you made this? <laughs> the, only, <laughs> the only note is go fuck yourself. If I don't play that every time you come to the stream, you won't forgive me. That makes sense. Horrible though it may Synth. be, this sound may someday become a reality. I am doing awesome today, Jolms. How are you doing? <clears throat> Somebody remind me the next time I'm streaming uh, music creation. Like, if I'm writing something. <laughs> to just crack open the fucking Pro Tools session. Oh! Uh, and send them, send the stems to Millennial Animal. Yo, we are getting raided! Party time! Woo! Yo! Toxic Eternity is raiding me at this very moment. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Bienvenidos. To the Trey Xavier stream. Hold on, I, I realized that I don't have uh, Twitch open. <laughs> I can see your chat because I popped it out. Did I though? I didn't. There it is. Hello, hello, Jack, how are you doing? How's your stream? What the fuck is up, Denny's? Um. For those of you who are new here, on Fridays, 
we do um we do this <laughs> we listen to music and uh i give feedback on the music how come none of the raiders are talking are the raiders trying to chat and uh, and are unable to what just happened <laughs> Did this raid actually happen or what's the deal? It says I was raided by 26 people, but the it says I only have 10 people watching and none of them are speaking. What's going on? I guess they didn't make it <laughs> through the door. <laughs> oh wait, somebody followed. Um if you oh, somebody shout out Jack. Hold on. No, no, what is it? Hold on. Oh, is it followers only mode? Oh, that was a mistake. That's my bad. Thank you, Topher, for turning off followers only mode. I think I know how to do this. Did it work? Yes, I shouted out Toxic Eternity. Great. See, this is why we have mods. All right. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yulnav93 has followed. Thank you so much. Thank you for the raid, Jack. Um, so yeah, we do a lot of cool stuff on this stream. Like this, like I stand here and I talk and I try to remember how to say words and there are noises that happen. Um, but what we do on Fridays is listen to music. You can submit music. There are rules. And I will listen to your music and tell you what I think of it. And it's great. And sometimes there's this cat who stops by. You know? And it's a great fucking time. And Yule Cowards won't follow. Um, what were you working on, Jack? Jack and I did a sick collab once. It was very good. We did, uh, one of the, one of my very favorite soundtrack, um, video game soundtrack songs ever. And it was great. I feel like I'm waiting for something to happen and nothing is going to happen. I am just screaming into the void right now. And it's fine. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I should show them what we do instead of... So, okay. let's. So this is a song that we just listened to and we'll listen to it again. Dubstep Jam. The, uh, the structure of this kind of stuff is a little weird. It's like, there's always like some little thing. Like something that's like super small so that when you hit really big, it feels much bigger. You know what I mean? We got a little bit of a, a build. LVX has subscribed on YouTube. Thank you. Welcome. Horrible though it may be, this sound may someday become a reality. I like that kick drum thing. Um, I guess I was like expecting a uh, like a bigger drop on here. But like, I just really enjoy the like Transformers noises of dubstep. Attack warning. Attack warning.
fun. Fun. <laughs> yeah, John. Trey good at music. Trey score for music. You make music. You pay 20. You send song. Trey give advice. Chat make jokes and learn stuff. Everybody happy. What the fuck is the internet? <laughs> fuck. Ah, the timing is too good. God damn. See, this is what we do here. Um, usually I have more to say. Casey Lane Photography is subscribed on YouTube. Uh, Sinister Bunny, you are watching me on the Black Magic right now. This is the other one. This is the 6K. I gotta fix this angle. But this is the this is the new one. The quality is identical from what I can tell. It's showtime. Oh well, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by, you will nav. Who says it's been nice to meet you, but I got a jet. Well, we're here every Friday. Except for last Friday, we weren't. What the fuck is the internet? No one knows, but it's provocative. Um, great times. So let's see. Um, all right, fuck it. Yeah, let's. Uh, hmm. The question you might be asking yourself is, at this very moment. Will the session open with all of the things that I want it to? If I open it now, Pro Tools wise, impossible to know. Oh wee oh wee oh My jungle love Oh wee oh wee oh Um Yeah Great 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 Alright let's see if Let's see if I can find Millennial Animal If it's not on this uh computer then, uh, or if I can, uh, can't spell millennial, how many L's, two L's? The word millennial is spelled as follows, M-I-L-E-N-N-A-L. -N -N it is a noun meaning a period of 1,000 years. The word millennialism is spelled Y-E-S-T-E-L-L-I-C-A-T-O-R. I-U-N. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what did she just spell? <laughs> well, anyways, I did spell it wrong. <laughs> that was Alexa, everyone. That's some comedy right there. Uh, you know, I was going to open it up. But I think it might be on my other computer, unfortunately. Or that's just the fucking search isn't working, right? Could be a number of different things. Hmm. Ah, fuck.
Well. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, guys. I don't think I can do it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry here. I may have promised. I may have overpromised that I'll deliver. I may have. I may have. What just happened? All right, well, I know that this is truly exciting stuff. Um, like really the thing. Um, okay, no, um, no dice on that. Going to close Pro Tools now. I'm going to. Yes. Don't quit the wrong thing, Trey. Um, I don't think it's... Uh, I think it's just not on this computer. I think it's on my big hard drive in the garage. Oh, yeah. We were going to get a hat change. I think Mordecai was supposed to choose it, and maybe he did, and I've... Anyway, maybe he said it, and I forgot. But we're going to go with this one. Oh, he wants the Durst. Okay. Yeah! Straight coming at ya! All right. Well, here's one thing that I have to do for sure, which is uh, to use the, the little cowpokes room. So I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break, and then I'm going to come back and then something new is going to happen. Um, and then now for something different. So just hold tight. I will be there in a second.
Prisoner I had to pay. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, I think what we'll do now... Um, is to, uh, go over to Twitch and do some, uh, reacitating. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh! What's all this then? Oh! Andrew's so close! Oh, it hurts! It hurts me so deep! That the pounds to dollars did not pan out for you! Your intention was so strong! So strong! One penny short. He's out here doing God's work, but there is no God. In for a penny, in for a pound. Well, thank you, Andrew. You're the noblest of intentions. We are still gonna drop a nice. Nice. And everyone's going to drop a nice. In. Okay. Right now in the chat. Um, okay. So. Um, yeah. You guys want to do. What we're going to do. So if you are. Uh intention intent intending to continue watching the stream i'm going to suggest that you um scoot your boot over to twitch and i think i'll do like a couple um um how you say uh, reactions to uh other you know music that we can't watch on here because of copyright how does that sound? I don't care how it sounds. That's what we're doing. If you want to do it, that's the thing. So the, the, um, the link to Twitch, to my Twitch, where you can do that is in the description. If you're on YouTube. Okay. Somebody named fret, not just describe, just subscribed on YouTube. Thank you so much for the subscribing. Um, Oh, and if, so if you want me to react to something, go put it in the reaction suggestions channel on, uh, in the discord. Did somebody just, ah, just till the original has subscribed on Twitch. Thank you so much. All right. All right, guys. So, um, Thank you so much for all of your donations. Having a nice time on YouTube. But now we're headed over to Twitch. Go there now. Sinister Bunny just followed. A bunch of other handsome geniuses are already there. So let's fucking go! Bye, YouTube.